Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, trash day. My wife's like, can you please not put the uh, trash, that trash from the tree in the trash cans for at least a week until we have to uh, take it out to the curb next week? I said, why? So, I don't like my trash can being filled with branches. So it's already really starting to be a breezy day today. So. I'm just going to hold off on digging that trench. So I drug out the trash can to the curb and this is what I found under the trash can. I kind of ruined his day with this thing. Big huge scorpion. Let's measure how big he is. All right. Add it this way. He is about if you stretch out his tail, the tip of his tail has got a big old stinger on it. He's about four inches. Just look at that stinger. It was still, he was still twitching just a few seconds ago. So, I don't know, I, I ruined his day. I dropped a big rock right there. Those rocks serve two purposes. To keep the lids down when it's full and when I move this trash can, squash anything that I see. He's not the first scorpion I have, I have found underneath uh, my trash cans. One of the reasons why I blocked off those little holes so little creepy crawlies can't get under there and uh, although he did get under the trash can so uh, I, I don't want him ruining my day. He's pretty big. Let me get my little clamps that I got. Let's see if he's moving around. Let's bring them up to eye level. These are the creepy crawlies that are running around in the desert that you got to watch out for, and he's fast. He was trying to make a beat for that wall over there, and I was like, oh, picked up this rock and said, Geronimo. The freaking mosquitoes flying around now. That big mosquito. Big mosquitoes trying to come over to me. I'm going to put this right there. Watch out, mosquito. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to put this scorpion right here so birds can get them. i got to move around so this mosquito don't get me. Well, there you have it. The dangers. The little tiny baby ones are more dangerous, they say. I don't know. I've never been stung, but my dogs have killed many of these in the backyard. How you doing? Hmm. Big scary sucker. Gonna have bad dreams now. They even right up here so birds can get them. My dogs were barking all night last night, man. All night. Welcome to Arizona, Scorpion. Today's video is going to be about this blender right here that my clients gave to my wife because they said it doesn't work. And uh, I plugged it in and it, it's blinking. So they're always giving me stuff because they, they know I like to take apart electronics. So I looked this up on the internet and uh, I found this right here. Ninja Ultimate Blender Plus and this looks just like it. I don't have all these, I only got one. Um, they said they've only used it a couple of times and then it doesn't work anymore. $791. That's expensive. They're always good. They gave us that mixer there too that's over 400 It's almost 500 bucks, and there's nothing wrong with that. Except that you got to push down on this to get it to work. And then it works fine. Just that switch. They said that's the second one they bought. It didn't work right. So, these are... Uh, these clients got a lot of money and they don't really care about trying to fix stuff so <clears throat> I figured it out that this has a, a lock and unlock this turn it makes it lock and they thought that you put this in it doesn't work but you gotta twist it you gotta lock this sucker and then it works perfectly my wife's like, they said it didn't work. I'm like, if you go up, it says start and stop, it doesn't work, but pulsing it works. 
So, uh, gotta push down on this. There you go. And uh, I have the lid to take that off. I got the lid it puts on there, and you can drink right out of there. Then I put this on. This locks. Now, if you try this. This doesn't work if you do that. The way that this works is this has a safety thing here. You got to hold this down, and then it will work. But you got you got to con constantly hold this down. So um, how am I going to do this? Show this to you guys. Hold this down here, and then push up. It's working. To hold this down, it doesn't stay down. You got to hold it while it's blending, and then you have this adjustment here. You can turn it. That speeds it up, and then if you let it go, it uh, it turns it off. But this one doesn't work on pulsing. You can't pulse this one. Honey, push that down for me. I'm gonna hold this. Shocking. Man, that's so fast. Scared the crap out of me. Yeah, so it's got a lot of safety features on it. This is release. That's the release this. Then you have this right here that if you want to pour it out, you can pour it out. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They say they lost the instructions and uh, they couldn't figure out how to get it to work. So if I wanted it, I could. She could uh, bring it home to me, give it to me, and uh, it's a vent here. This is expensive, man. You see, this matches their uh, other blender. So they said they already bought another one, a new one with instructions, a, a different model. I told them, well, can't, does that? I told my wife, doesn't that instructions tell you how to use this one? She's like, I don't know. They just gave it to me. So yeah. You gotta unlock this to take that off. It's got some cool looking blades in there. So I'll just add to another blender for my wife to make her chili. See, she's got this one that I bought for her, on her for her birthday last year. But uh, I got so many blenders down here for her mixers that uh, I'm getting free from clients, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. So this does work when you push down pulsing. Yeah, let me go see if I can find it somewhere else cheaper online. I look on Amazon and eBay and all I'm finding is like replacement jars and lids and stuff like that which are, you know, pretty expensive. Two lids like here are $10.99 on Amazon, uh, $24.90 for the, the blades, $9.40. Uh, so replacement parts are pretty expensive for it. Uh, but I'm not finding an actual blender to see how much so these clients they always give me these electronics or I mean they're just freaking rich like crazy they for me to spend like a hundred bucks is nothing but for them to spend like a thousand bucks is nothing to them I mean they throw out stuff all the time uh, that I ask them you want me to throw this out or you you mind if I have it and they're like, oh, if you want to take it and I take it and uh, I just bring it home and sell it at a yard sale. Um, so they're always giving us stuff all the time. Here's another one right here. Mm, not the same color. Uh, looks kind of like it. Doesn't have a price here. Not available. Uh, this is the base right here. 107.95 just for the base, but this. It's a different model. It's a smaller one. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> it's a nice blender to add to the other stuff that they give. They give me two DVD players that work. It's absolutely nothing wrong with them either. They work perfectly. The only thing that the HDMI cord they gave me was bad. So I put a, a new HDMI cord that I have. And both of these DVD players work perfect. Sony and Pioneer. They said there's something wrong with it. They don't work. Uh, gave them to my wife to say, give it to your husband, he can take them apart, see what it looked like, and it's like, because I like to take electronics apart. These work perfectly, so 
I'm building up a stash here of stuff so when I have the next yard sale I got some stuff in the tiny house too that they gave us the freaking kitchen thing that has a drawer and folds out like a table they gave us that also so this is going to be a short video I got a lot of stuff I got to do today that I cannot take a camera into these buildings so I thought I'd just make this quick video right here one man's trash is another man's garbage thanks for taking the time as always to watch my videos and remember to like, comment, subscribe. It don't cost you anything. It's for free. And, uh... Giga, I'm gone! Ninja Warrior!